today I thought it would be fun to show you my workspace where I do all of my painting, my sculpting. Truth be told, I don't do all of it at this workstation, but majority of it I do. I like to work wherever inspires me. Sometimes that's outside, sometimes that's on the floor, and sometimes that's on the dining room table. You just never know. But majority of the time, I do do the work in my studio because that's where all my supplies are. And today I'm gonna show you all of my supplies and there is a lot because I do a lot. I am a sculptor, I'm a painter, I draw, I create three-dimensional objects. So there's a lot to cover today. Let's get started. <music> All right, so first things first, we have my animation desk. This is where majority of the magic happens. I have drawn so many sketches, even from my book, I illustrated and designed all the characters right there. This desk is really cool because this whole platform can either lower down like two notches or it could be all the way lowered and you could put your laptop here and i have some videos where i have it all the way down and i use it just as like a computer desk but for the majority of the time it is up because i do love my drawing and this is an animation desk after all so i try to keep it presentable that way sometimes i have maquettes like i do now sometimes i have vhs's i like to mix it up because this is my studio and i'm in here so much that i'd like to see new things and a lot of times it's for archival reasons. I'll put some things away so they're stored away from the light. But let's get into some art supplies. On my desk right here, I have just a variety of pencils. When I sketch, I use the traditional number two pencil. This guy is what I've been sketching with since I was nine years old. It is my true and true and there's nothing better than sketching with a regular pencil. Okay, the first thing in this cavern that popped out at me is my glue gun. I use this all the time. This is just a regular Craft Smart glue gun that you can get at Hobby Lobby or Michaels, and it was like four or five dollars. I did have a really nice 3M one, but it broke, and after that, I was like, you know what? I really don't need that high end of a glue gun, and this has worked perfectly fine. I have heard Tiki Room Birds, animatronics of all sorts, and this works fine. Next, you will see a shelf full of paints. This is where I store majority of my paints and I use mainly acrylic paint, of course, and I use all types of brands from folk art, from deco art. Next, I have this giant like lunchbox vintage thing full of brushes. I keep my brushes actually in a variety of different places, but here's where majority of them are. I have the most high-end brushes you can get and the cheapest ones you can get. It's such a mixture. It all depends on what you're creating. I use usually like, for instance, the cheapy ones on animatronics and uh, figures, but if I'm painting on a canvas, I use the nicer ones because you need the really nice, fine horse hair tipped brush to really put in those details, especially if you're painting with oil. These are my secret weapons. These are from Smooth On and these are free Freeform Air Series Sculpting Epoxy Dough. Say that three times fast. This stuff is amazing. Basically you mix equal parts A and B and you put it on anything or use it to attach anything and it will harden like cement. And that these are actually what I use to um, brace and attach my three trophy heads onto their shield platforms that they used to hang on the wall. So this stuff is amazing. And you could get this on Amazon. Next, I have also some more stuff from Smooth On. This is a, like, I don't, I think it's used for smoothing 3D printed parts, but this stuff is also really amazing for gloss. So I use this a lot on like noses and eyes and you mix um, two parts A to one part B, and this stuff is super nice if you wanna fill in crevices or just make anything look super glossy like eyeballs or noses. You will also see a ton of feathers because I am constantly working on a Tiki Broom Bird and I get all my feathers on Etsy. Uh, if I can find the account, I will link it below. I use um, usually goose and duck feathers for the majority of my Tiki Broom figures. These shelves below are just filled with kind of like odds and ends and 
This is one thing that I love about crafting is you're left with so many scraps. Now we're pulling out the big guns. This is a stall stalwart heat gun. And I only have used this once and I pretty much bought this for buff. When I was making my buff um, figure, his hair needed to be curled and I did not find a curl that was really short that matched the brown for that particular figure. So I made it myself. And if you haven't watched the buff video, you can um, watch it below, I'll link it below for you. And this is amazing. You can also use this for, for example, I used this when I was making a Halloween prop of a skeleton. If you really wanna make a really cool effect with skin, you just put a trash bag over like, you know, what, a whatever cheap little $30 skeleton and you heat the trash bag onto the skeleton bones and then you paint it and it looks like rotting skin. It is such a fun practical effect. So try that. And I got this off of Amazon for like $30. This is a drill that has a ton of different little heads and bits and parts to it. I use this when I'm either sanding or I need to make a hole in something to put a screw. This is truly just been such a lifesaver in my collection. I use this all the time and just absolutely covered in resin dust. And this is just something that you need it all the time. And it has so many different like heads that you can put on it. It's amazing. I have so many spray paints too. Of course, whenever I finish painting something, I always clear coat it. And I usually use a clear um, gloss or just matte finish. And this stuff is amazing. This is from Krylon, I think is the name of the brand. No artist would be complete without their color matching. And this is such an amazing booklet full of color. If I ever wanna match a color or if I'm looking up a documentation, I find the color pieces on here and then I am able to match the color perfectly. So this has been such a lifesaver. I also have some sandpaper, some diamonds. I keep more of my brushes and just water that I've most recently used. I know that's terrible to do, it's bad for the brushes, but these are the cheapy ones. Next, we have some very, very important sculpting tools. I have a variety of tools from dental tools to actual sculpting palettes, brushes that are broken. I have some forks in here uh, and I use all of these for when I sculpt. Probably the most used tool I have would be this and I use it for so many different things. This is just an X-Acto blade that you can pick up from like Hobby Library or Amazon. And I use this so much. I use this to cut fabric. I use this to cut feathers. I use this just for anything and everything. I always needed to open boxes from Amazon and it's such an amazing tool and you can like switch out the blades for those that do not know. And it's such a crafty tool that I think every artist should have in their studio. This to me is so sentimental. This was my grandma's ruler and it's an 18 inch ruler and that she wrote Alcozer in the back way back in the eighties. This weird snake wire thing is actually a newer tool that I have for the desk. And this is what I use for my drawing videos. I had the hardest time capturing the true quality of the sketch because sometimes when you do draw with the number two, it's not the darkest lead color that you can find. And this has just allowed me to be really close to the paper. Up top, you will see a ton of old paints. Now these are from the Walt Disney Animation Studios. And these were used to color cells back in the 90s. And they are all pretty much um, hardened. There's a few in there actually that have still some good color. But I just keep these for display because I love, love, love cell vinyl paint. I think it's amazing. And these are all really cool because they were all used at Disney. You can even see there it says Goofy only. So they have a lot of history and they're just really fun decorations on the desk. All right, everyone. Well, that's all the time that we have for today's episode. If you liked this content, please let me know. Give it a thumbs up. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button. That way you're notified whenever I upload a new video. I wish you all a wonderful day. Be nice to one another. And always remember not only to follow your dreams, but to chase them. Later, dreamers.